Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you basic use of data frame. Uh, so previously, we have seen vectors and list. So the difference uh, we find between these two is that in list we can store data of multiple modes, like we can store character, numeric. Whereas in vectors, all you can do is you can store multiple element of same mode or same atomic type so data frame as a actually a list version of matrix as you remember in matrix we are having a two dimensional uh, data structure and all those elements are having same modes or type so in data frame a uh, data frame is actually you can consider as a table so in table every column mm, can have a different type of data so data frame is a matrix in which every column can have a different modes of data so how to create data frame so here I am going to create first a list or let's say let me create a sorry vector and in this one I am going to put some marks okay and the next one I'm going to create a vector of names and let's say John Raz and uh, Rocky now I need to create a frame so how to do that uh, fr data dot frame we need to pass marks names and here just wait marks names uh, let me go with it and here I am going to access the value of frame so if you can see here I have actually passed uh, these two vectors in this data frame so they actually inserted as columns so first column because I have passed marks so let me pass names as the first column and marks as second column and let me execute this script again so now it's okay if you can see here John, Raj, Rocky they are their marks now the thing is that if you want to access a specific element how we are going to do that so what we are going to do we are going to use index let's say fr dollar sign names so I just want to access names so as you can see here we are accessing only names if we want to go for marks we can write in this manner and all we are having marks now instead of this one if we want to access with index so we can write so in this way uh, when you write one so it will give you first column so that's all in the next one uh, we will see some functions used with data frame thank you very much for watching